A local oyster man has filed an appeal to the Virginia State Supreme Court claiming the city of Suffolk and HRSD do not have the right to pollute the Nansman River. Now, in January, we reported that Waterman had several hundred acres of oyster beds condemned by the Department of Health because of bacterial pollution. Then on your side's Andy Fox is here with why he is filing that appeal. Well, he's filing the court appeal because the judge dismissed the case based on law from 1919 that he thinks doesn't apply anymore. They think times have changed and are hoping the appeal of this case becomes new law that will hold governments in Virginia more responsible for polluting. We have several hundred acres of oyster beds that have been condemned by the Department health because of bacterial pollution. That is oysterman Robert Johnson, who blames the city of Suffolk and HRSD for dumping raw sewage into the Nansman River. Property rights attorney Joe Waldo. The court believes their hands are tied by a case of 100 years ago handed down by the United States Supreme Court. Suffolk Circuit Court Judge Wayne Farmer using a 1919 U.S. Supreme Court case that held an oyster bed lessee's property rights to use the river bottom is subordinate beneath the locality's right to pollute the waterways. The law allows them, because they are the government, to discharge raw sewage and stormwater runoff into the Nansman River regardless of whether or not it pollutes the river. Under these circumstances, the government has the right to pollute the water. The 1919 law predates new environmental regulations. The Clean Water Act in a South Carolina case imposed severe limitations on the right to discharge sewage or other pollutants. But Judge Farmer ruled there does not appear to be any authority under Virginia law establishing that a nuisance may be a taking. Ask the city of Suffolk or HRSD, do we have the technology to treat raw sewage and treat storm water before you dump it into the Nansman River? The resounding answer is of course we do. We wanted to find out what Suffolk thought about that. The attorney representing Suffolk did not return our calls for comment. Johnson and Waldo are asking the state Supreme Court to award an appeal and reverse the judgment that was just handed down and send the case back to the lower court for a new trial. I'll have more on that part of the story tonight at six. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.